Hello guys. What are you doing? It is Saturday morning. Pretty early in the morning. Uh, it's a little after 10. Can we, unbuckle? You can unbuckle baby. We're here. Uh, we just got out of little dude's checkup for his concussion. And everything checks out fine for those of you guys checking up on this and, 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 and praying and keeping us in good thought for him. Everything checks out fine balance wise. Uh, sensation to toes and fingers and all that stuff. He's good. Um, he still is on limited uh, activity in regards to like karate and trampolines and all that type of stuff. He should be going with his dad in a few hours. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I just need him to be absolutely sure that kiddo cannot jump on a trampoline and that's usually their go-to when they're together uh, or swimming. Swimming is fine. Trampoline is out of the question for at least two more weeks. Uh, but we got out and I decided to come to Thrifty Station. Um, our little outreach thrift store here in my little town and uh, I love this store but their hours are really really wonky so I've been wanting to come and I finally came they're open until 1 so I have a good uh, amount of time to browse around I want to take you guys in with me because I really like this little store it's hit and miss but it's a nice quaint little store I probably won't talk only because um, I don't want um, to be asked to shut the phone camera down um, but um full of senior citizens uh, this morning, seeing less little senior citizens coming out. Uh, but yeah, so I'll probably film but won't uh, do any voiceover, not voiceover, just probably won't speak. But there might be something interesting in there for us to see. So I'll see you guys back here in a little bit. Can you use that for Christmas? I don't know, it might end up damaged by then. Oh, wow. If you're from Texas and Latino, you know about this. And they're autographed. <sighs> oh, how cute. What is this little thing? Look, a little M&M dispenser. How adorable. I don't think so. So pretty. That is a cute little planter. Look at all the bells. The chilies. Very pretty. Come on, love bug. You hungry? No. Want a hash brown? Yeah. We'll get hash brown as soon as we leave. That's so pretty. Heavy. Dollies, be careful with them. Be careful with them. We could knock them over and they'd crash. Be something straight out of a horror movie. Scary movie. Oh, wow. Come here, Peanut. I was just looking at these on eBay. old Avon. How cool. There's four of them. Avon. Milk glass decanter. All this Avon. Cologne bottle. How neat. Look 
look at all the bills. Like Tahoe, Alcatraz, the Alamo. So cute. Lots of knickknackery. I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. Along this wall. Little surprise wall. Look. Little woodworkings of someone. Say close, Peanut. There's another little woodworking thingamabobber. Cute. Seashell. Board games. What not? Little cupcake canister. What I tell y'all? Is this just a trinket box or a music box? Oh, it's a music box. Let's see what it plays. I love. Just bumped you. Open it. Let's see what it. It's a little song it plays. If it still works. I don't recognize it, but it's pretty. No, I don't recognize, I do not do not recognize the little song. It's not dusty. If it's dusty, it's old. It is really cute, but. It's so dusty outside. Lampshade. Those are nice lamps. Look at this pretty star. Oh, it's a light. <laughs> or is that the lamp? Yeah, it's a light. How pretty is that? Is that paper? Cardboard? That's pretty. Why did you tell me to stay there? Because it was narrow. I didn't know if we could both maneuver in here. There's this metal lock and key. It's $6 for a two-piece. And I already have one. And I bought it here last year. Just thought it was neat. I'm tempted to get it again, but don't need it. all the goodies. Oh, apples for my little laundry closet. $3. That's cute. So cute. Don't have any room for it though. There's another little apple. Another little apple. Now I feel I need to buy something with an apple on it. Just stuffies. Oh gosh, it's one of those baskets. Now y'all know I love a seashell. Now look at that. It's a little jar full of them. For four dollars. Hmm. Oh, I know. I see it. I like it. Oh, musical lyrics. Cool. <laughs> Girls just want to have fun. These are awesome. Musical lyrics. $3 each. The prices are so good here. That's Tigger. I already have this guy and I oh yeah, when you were a baby, she still has that stuff. Yeah. I like the way they separate their little baby clothes in bins and mark what them. That's an old timey bear. Looky what I found. A whole bunch of military garb. The last time I saw my son, he was wearing these. <sighs> I've decided I'm not going to get it, but it's one of these little wood carved um, fruit bowls. They fold down into a bowl. This one is kind of hard, probably brand new, never been opened. It's, a it's really cute. It's only $4. Ooh, baby head. But um, yeah, just wanted to show y'all how cute it is. This is the little back room. I have all kinds of glassware, plates, dishes. I like looking around in here. Never know when you come across a 
vintage Garfield glass. And then they have some linens over there. Oh, what am I looking at? Look at that. What am I looking so at? So pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, they have what? wedding dresses, guys. What? So pretty. Look at the pretty beading. Oops, sorry. This is pretty adorable too. They have these little chest of drawers with undershirts and underwear and they have it tagged by Big men's, big women's, uh-huh, and sizes. I think that's really cute. It's the first time I've seen them displayed in this way anywhere. So cute. It's the time of year, Peanut. They come out, you'll see them all over the place. Crickets everywhere. Get off him. Don't lean on it too hard. Oh, pretty. Okay, we're going. We're going to go around. We'll go around. You can sneak a peek at everything. So pretty. Well, I know my car's letting me know. Put your seatbelt on. Um, we just got out of Thrifty Station. And uh, there was a lot of really cute stuff that I resisted on, but of course, y'all know I ain't gonna walk out of there empty-handed. So I found a few more little things I'm gonna show you guys. We are headed off to McDonald's. Little dude wants what? A hash brown. And I want a big, giant glass of their sweet tea. That's all I want. That's all I want in life. It is, let me see. Go to the O-I-9. Huh? It is 92 degrees at 10. 52 a.m. We're looking at 110 degree weather day today. So uh, this is all the out I'm going to do. But I do have a lot to show you guys. So I'll see you guys in the hall. Because there were so many senior citizens in there, and I'm not bashing senior citizens at all. I know there's good and cranky and all ages. Uh, but apparently this store attracts our senior community. And a lot of them are not happy. Uh, kind of rude and uh, just, you know, took a little bit away from my experience. And then I really got to watch Little Dude, although he behaves himself very well. He understands you're not supposed to touch anything. But he does like to look. And uh, y'all know sometimes seniors and children don't mix. I mean, nobody said anything to him. And, of course, he wasn't rude to anybody. But I could just get this vibe that I better watch my kid because some cranky grandma might start yelling or something. But uh, we're heading off to go get... Hash brown! A hash brown and some tea, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hello, guys. It is haul time. Let me start off by saying I'm in the living room because the natural light is awesome, because it's quite comfortable in here with the fan blowing. And we just came in from outside. I was doing yard work. My backyard was a total disaster, like big time. And it's been really hot here. It was 110 yesterday. Today, I think it was only 102, maybe 103. But I couldn't stand looking at that backyard. And um, I had this genius idea to turn the sprinklers on while I work in the yard just to keep myself cool. And it was an awesome idea. And uh, little dude was out there sprinkling and getting cool with me. And we were ended up, after all our yard work, being out there for like two hours. <laughs> Y'all remember these? Oh, your tongue is green. Let me see. Uh, Y'all remember these in the hall? The raptor. Uh, uh, sickness. I'll step sickness. My hand. Anyway, uh, we just came in. So uh, we kind of dried off. He threw on a night shirt. I threw on my nightgown. And... It's only 5.30. I don't care, y'all. When your body tells you to relax, relax. That's something I struggle with. I feel like I always have to be doing something if I'm not. I feel like I'm wasting a day. But we came in, cleaned up, and kind of light around. And I got bored immediately. But little dude uh, wanted to lay around and be lazy, which is new for me but um with the whole little head thing I'm playing it by ear and going at his speed so I'm like if his little body is telling him to relax he needs to relax so maybe I need to relax and I laid on this couch for a little while 
and just relaxed and that is rare for me but then I thought you know what let me get on here and do this haul because I like visiting with y'all so here I am in my nightgown at 5 35 with my front door open hoping nobody comes a knocking because anywho it's gonna be that kind of day um let me start the he end. To pee. He just told you to he had to pee. Um let me start start. Let me start with the stuff that um I picked up. It's Sunday, by the way, did I say? So I didn't do the haul yesterday because it was crazy hot yesterday. We ended up at the movies, we came home, and all I wanted to do was take a cold shower and get in an air conditioned room upstairs. So anyway, um so here I am today. I didn't pick up a lot, a lot. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I've been two places. Okay, I videotaped the Thrifty Station. And let me start off with that since that's where I started my video. Is that where I started my video? Yeah. Um, let me show you the stuff that I picked up at Thrift Station. I also went to Thrift Town like a day before. Uh, me and Little Dude went to Thrift Town earlier in the week. So you got underpants on. No shoulder underpants. Okay. What you doing? You smell like chips. Are you eating chips? Yeah. I'm glad I have water. Dorito breath. Um, so yeah, let me start off with the thrifty station. Okay, I went in there. I had $13 cash, which is not normal for me because I'm real weird about the number 13. I know, I know, but I am. Sorry, I'm so thirsty. And I got $11 worth of goodies. So let me show you guys that stuff first. Now, let me start off by saying I did not want to begin a collection of something else, but I think I'm going to start because I did get this little milk glass. Now, the bottom is milk glass. The top is plastic. It's a little Avon decanter with roses, roses, cream, sachet, fragrance, and a creamy base smooth over skin. I don't know what year this is from, but it's called Heart Scent. And it would have been so much nicer if the top was milk glass, but the bottom is nice and heavy. And look guys, there's still stuff in it. And it smells good. I don't know how old this is. If anybody knows how old or what year this premiered or was selling, it looks a little dried out and a little weird. But then in the center, it looks soft. And it still smells nice. It doesn't smell rancid or anything. But I couldn't resist it. I just thought it was really pretty. Nice little clean. Uh, and it was $2. So I grabbed that. And I'm like, come on. You don't need to start collecting anything else. But I couldn't resist it. And I also couldn't resist this one. Another little milk glass decanter with a gold top. Is that plastic? Yeah, that's plastic. Oh. That, what the heck? Is there anything in there? There is still stuff in here. Hold on. It's an Avon Moonwind powder sachet. It's powder. It smells like baby powder. Oh, wow. Look. There's, it's full. Can y'all see that? It's full. This smells like my aunt. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this is what my aunt wears, if my aunt is wearing an Avon line. This smells just like my aunt. Oh wow, I gotta ask her. I gotta ask her, are you wearing Avon? Because our whole life, whenever she walked into a room, whenever she walked into your home, whenever anything, she would leave her scent behind. And it's a very powdery, now, now I know it's a powder scent. But look at the detail on the little bottle. Isn't that pretty? I got to call my auntie and ask her, do you wear an Avon product? Do you dust yourself with dusting powder? Because, oh, I love my auntie. She's in um, early stages of dementia. God bless her. So this is just a little extra special. But I just thought that was nice, so I grabbed that. Sorry. I'm all over the place. And then the last thing I picked up and the last thing I said, you know, what you need to stop. Because they had a whole bunch of stuff. Was this milk glass ashtray. Look at that. Oh, that was $3. 
That was two dollars. Okay, my nose is doing something. I wonder if the powder. Oh yeah, and <laughs> you're crouching so I don't see your underpants. Yeah. He picked up two little bags of foam blocks. Never over there. Yeah. Two little bags of foam boxes. Foam blocks. He said he could do something in that little thrifted castle of his. Let him be creative. He wants to build with them, do whatever with them. Hey, and those were fifty cents each. But this was gorgeous. It's an ashtray. Don't nobody smoke. But I can use it for something. It was just so pretty. And then I told myself, you need to stop. You need to stop. You don't need any of this stuff. And you really don't have room for another collection. But there I go. So I'm going to put the vase I purchased from, where was that? Where did I go? Goodwill? And those together somewhere. Somewhere. Figure it out. And then the only other thing I picked up there was this awesomeness. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know if I want to put it outside. Because I did get some leeway outside. It looks much better than it did. I clipped away all the dead leaves and all these crazy things that were growing out of the grass. And I moved some stuff around. And I put out my lanterns that I thrifted on one of my hauls. And it looks better. Uh, but I found this iron tea light lantern it was 250 you unscrew this and i won't unscrew it because it took me forever to screw it back in but you unscrew it and you put a little tea light in there it's heavy as heck and i loved it and like i said i don't know if it's going to be inside or outside but i had to have it so that was everything that i picked up at the thrifty station the little place you guys visited with me at then before that i had gone to thrift town uh, and they were having 50% off pink sale, and I did end up with some pink tag things. And I think I put them in order of pink tag. I think. Yes. I think so. Yes. Um, wow. I scored big time on pink. Okay. First thing, little dude clothes. These long baseball type shirts, quarter sleeve. I thought these would be perfect to sleep in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Out of the shower, throw one on, nice and comfy, 99 cents. So it was 49 cents because it was a pink tag. Found this awesome little Izod for school for him. It was regularly $2.99, but I paid 50% of that. He looks so nice and orange, and it's a nice condition. Figured keep me from doing laundry when you have a few more clothes, but then your laundry piles up and you end up doing two months worth of laundry and hating yourself for it. But got that. There was a whole bunch of these uh, baseball shirts, the quarter sleeve. Uh, this one's a little smaller than the other one, but it was also 49 cents after discount. Found this Urban Pipeline blue striped long sleeve little shirt for school that also was half of $1.99. This Massimo Supply long sleeve for 50% off $1.99. And I was just gearing up for winter. Gearing them up for winter. This is the last of those little baseball shirts. Um, same shirt, I don't, but this one was not a pink tag. This was a blue tag, but it was still only 99 cents, so. And then I saw this, and the only reason I couldn't resist it was because he has one now that currently fits him to the body. It doesn't fit him tight. It just it fits him well. But I found the same shirt for $1.49 in a much larger size. So he can wear this for a while longer. That was all I picked up for little dude there. And then I found this bag. And I, I fell in love with it. It's this Heather Gray. Is this Heather Gray or is Heather Gray a little darker? But it's this Heather Gray, and I have it stuffed with newspaper right now so you guys could get the, the feel of the shape on it. I loved the color. It was so pretty, and it's a Catherine Malandrino. And a long adjustable strap. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it ladylike and classic? I love the shape. This is a stud. Loved it, and it was $5.99, and the tag was attached to it, and I pulled the tag off to show you guys, and I don't know what I did with the tag, but I used this yesterday because Cinemark Movie Theaters are no longer letting you go in with bags longer and larger than 12 by 12 because people are sneaking in snacks, 
guilty as charged. Look, I'm paying for tickets. I still buy my popcorn and a slushy, but I'm not going to pay no $30 for adding on some candy and sodas and stuff like that. Not going to happen. Sorry. Yes, I admit it. I am a snack sneaker. This bag doesn't even come close to the dimensions that they get suspicious about. So I popped two little boxes of candy, two drinks, and took our happy ass. Took our happy butts. Should I leave that in here? <laughs> in here near me. Oh my gosh. Took our happy butts. Y'all gotta understand. I have curbed my tongue so much with him that I even surprised myself when I... So that tickled me. Anyway, took our happy butts to the movies with our... See? I'm a rebel. I sneak snacks in. And I say the butt word. Yes. Trust. I still have a potty mouth. On occasion, you rub me the wrong way. I do, but I try not to around that one. He didn't even catch it. Anywho. <sighs> Last thing that I picked up there was this awesome lamp. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. I was looking for a white lamp. I think you guys heard me say on a Goodwill haul that I was looking for a white lamp. A second white lamp for my office. Is it a coincidence that my tongue now feels hairy? <laughs> anyway, I blame the sun. Looking for a white lamp, and I couldn't find a white lamp, but I found this one, and I love this big old fake diamondy thing in the center, and I think it'll work. I mean, for the place I'm going to put it in my office, it, it'll work. And the only reason I wanted another lamp is because I have migraines. And when I have a migraine on my work, I'll turn on the little lamp that I currently have in there. And it's perfect to ease the, the sensitivity to light. But it's not bright enough that I can see very well to do my job. So I always thought if I had had one more smaller lamp in there, I think it'll work. And I just fell in love with this one. This was $3.99. And it was cheaper there than the ones at Goodwill. The Goodwill ones are $5.99 despite whatever size. They're all $5.99. And this one was $3.99. So I was shocked about that. And the tag was down here. And it wasn't all the way stuck. It was a purple tag. It wasn't all the way stuck. And I thought probably somebody switched the tag trying to be slick. I'll just see if it's really $3.99. I got up there and the cashier kind of looked at the tag I looked at it again, and then she pulled it off, and I thought, oh, yeah, somebody was trying to pull a fast one. I hope she doesn't think it was me. I sneak candy, not labels. But anyway, uh, she pulled it off, and the only reason she pulled it off was to scan it on the little scanner. So I got this pretty lamp for $3.99, and then when I got home, look at that. Ross sells it for $24.99. So that's all I picked up there, and then we went to Target for you know, stuff that we need, regular stuff. And I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought this shade for it. Now, I didn't want one of these. I wanted one that I could mount on here and use the little knob, but I couldn't find one that I was willing to pay for and one that I liked that would go with this size lamp. So I ended up Hello. buying one of these that sits on here. And it really, it does look pretty. It does, it's, I, it's just a shame. I wanted to use the little knobby. Uh, maybe later on, if I can remember, I'll look for a shade that I can use that with at a thrift store. Because the shades that I did like at Target were $14.99. This one was $9.99. But isn't that pretty? It works. And since the, the lamp wasn't white, the base, the shade is white, I figured I can make it work. So that's that. And then the only other fun thing I picked up at Target was... Uh, Joaquin Phoenix's last movie, You Were Never Really Here. I wanted to watch this, but as usual, nobody ever wants to go to the movies with me. Uh, or they're not fans of the people I'm fans of. I've been a fan of Joaquin Phoenix forever and ever and ever. He, like Jake Gyllenhaal, is one of the actors. He was my Jake Gyllenhaal before Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes, it was that bad. Uh, I still love him. I still think he's amazing. And every movie he puts out, I collect. So I can't wait to watch this. I just don't think I can watch it with a little dude here. I'm sure not. It's very, very violent. Um, lots of stuff happening, but 
definitely want to watch it. That was all the fun stuff I picked up there. Then we went to 99 Cent only yesterday after the movies. And I picked up this little easel. Because I had a plaque that I thrifted not too long ago. A real pretty little plaque with a saying on it that in my infinite genius um, thought would work outside. It had a kickstand like a picture frame. And with the rain and everything, the kickstand broke and it fell and broke a corner off of the little plaque. Let me show it to you. Hold on. Okay. Is this upside down? Okay. It's this thing. I thrifted this not too long ago. And it says, home is where your story begins. And it's really dirty right now because it was in the dirt, literally. And I picked it up and I kind of brushed it off. And this right here is the corner that broke off. See? So all of this was broken off in two pieces and I super glued it together and that is why I bought this little easel because I really like it outside I think it's pretty and uh, see what I'm talking about what was I thinking you can't put this kind of thing out in the rain uh, so yeah that's a disaster but uh, it's gonna go back out on my little table out up the walkway and I got that and I nice and only and then I found this I don't need any more of this guys I went through my stash of body wash and lotions and okay. uh, went through all my stash of smell goods and, and just you know bath stuff and have plenty but this one smelled really nice and it was an awesome price it's Nivea care and relax mallow extract hibiscus perfume dermatology tested shower gift for $2.99. They had one almond something, and I don't like that smell, that almond smell. But this, excuse me, this one smells really nice. So I got that. I still smell that baby powder. That's some potent stuff. Then the only other stuff I have to show you, if you all are interested, are the stuff, the stuff are the things that I picked up at a, oh, look, here's the taggy for the bag. It was $5.99. Taggy for accessories, purses. There it is. Um, the only other stuff that I have to show you is are the finds that I found at RalphLauren.com for Little Dude. I get ready for school for him twice a year. I do just buy new. Because uh, you like to start off school, you're new. And I just had the idea to go online a little earlier than I usually do, and I'm glad I did because they were having a 50% off sale plus 30%, so 70% off of a lot of their items. And I hit pay dirt. I got his box. What does it taste like? The last one was melon. It was really good. So I felt so fancy, y'all, when it's... The box says that. <laughs> and it's wrapped up like that. Now, I buy new. Okay, I do. But I love thrifting because the thrill of the hunt is just so amazing. But when I buy new on clearance, it's an awesome thrill of the hunt too. So if y'all are interested in what I picked it up, I don't think I'm going to unbag them just because I don't have his closet organized just yet with uh, last year's school clothes and this year's school clothes. But I did get him an orange little polo. This is a long sleeve with a little hood. Just your standard blue little polo. Stripey t-shirt, little v-neck tee. Collared striped thinner material polo. Red, white, and blue striped collared polo. Standard round neck little tee, little pocket tee. I buy one of these every year, whether I'm online or whether I'm at the mall. I just love the stripe, the blue and white stripe with the red pony. I don't know what it is. Every year he's gotten one since as long as I can remember. So this is like, may as well be uniform for us because got to get him one of those. 
And then I found him this um, sweatshirt. Ralph Lauren, well, Polo, the Polo brand sweatshirt that I think. It's a little big, but it's going to be good for Larry. And all of this prior to the sale was 300 and something dollars. And after the sale and all the discounts and everything added to it, came out to $124, which I think is awesome because I would have paid that. I would have paid more than that at the mall because the mall probably would have had this much inventory because, you know, physically you walk into the mall and the racks get cleaned up. So I probably wouldn't have got as many. So I probably would have ended up paying more because I would have just paid full price for something because y'all know I like the quality of Ralph Lauren because it lasts longer. Um, so I would have probably just paid more at the mall. So going online was the way to go. But that is everything. That's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Pardon my use of the word for buttocks. Um, are you going to say anything? <laughs> he has to. So I am going to finish cleaning up. I'm going to pop up some quesadillas. Going to make some quesadillas right quick. And uh, I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday. Y'all keep cool wherever y'all are. Don't play around with this heat. This heat ain't no joke. The news are just so sad about people just kind of falling out from it. So stay safe, stay cool, and stop crossing your eyes. You scare me with your concuss. It cut us off till my next go round. Thanks for watching. Love y'all bunches. Bye. Good night.